we got the um the the new update. Uh, it's like a little monkey and you know whatnot. Got a little chest. That's cool. And we got a little gift. Mer monkey three. Get select a monkey soap pops. Wait, what? Select a monkey soap. Get the most pops and medium hard. What? How do I select a monkey? Wait. Don't say it. So, what is this? What the hell? What is going on here? Why don't I have the mirror monkey? I have to pop stuff? Aw, oh, man. There we go. I think it took me like an hour to get them. Or, yeah, maybe. Maybe longer. It was probably longer. But anyways, new monkey unlocked. He has zero XP. Yeah. Um, he looks cool though. What does he look like again? Mer monkey. I heard they copied this from Bloom City. I can't really remember because my memory's not too good, but yeah, yeah, this should be fun to you know test out. If you guys are wondering, um, I would rec if you're trying to get some fast XP on the Mer monkey. I know I'm doing it on this map, but um, I do recommend doing it on like a harder difficulty map because that results in more XP um, and mainly using this one monkey will also give more XP like if I only put down this monkey I'm gonna get more XP it, you can use a hero though because heroes are not affected by that gain so you can still use a hero and oh my god he's like he's piercing multiple and he he has two pierce um so that's good now we have Lord of the Abyss, Pus Pop Sidon, and then the final harmonic, uh, harmonic heart. Yeah, Pop Sidon. I think I want Pop Sidon. He sounds cool. So we'll grab the sharper prongs. So now we have even more Pierce. You know, he's going crazy. But I do want faster. So we'll go top half. So we'll go like top middle. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and unlock all his upgrades. See what he does. You know. Okay, so Sharper Prongs doesn't actually do what I thought it does. It just makes it so he can pop more balloons, which isn't like a bad thing, but I just thought it increased Pierce. Um, so now, Tridents are larger and can freeze balloons. Wait, can he? Oh my god, he has like a little like freeze. Yo, that's kind of cool. Um, we have no XP, guys. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put down a, a few. Wait, why didn't I just do deflation? Oh, because I literally don't even have any of his upgrades at all. Okay, yeah, so Abyss Dweller looks cool, but we're gonna go middle path first. Riptide Champion, the Mermonkey draws energy from the sea. Trying to score in size and power as they travel. Crash rate devastating force. So, does it do more damage if he's farther away? Which is kinda. So, would that synergize with the bottom path? Um, maybe. Oh my god, what the? Yo, that looks cool. That actually looks really cool. I'm gonna get the bottom path because that's camo. Um,. We can't actually pop lead. Um, I think we could tank it, right? Um, you know, I also heard that none of these like paths can actually pop lead, and I think that's true. Oh wait, Trinus can pop lead. So this tier can pop lead, but that's a 10k cost to get there in the first place. So. Uh, what we're gonna do about the leads? Uh, uh, I would put an elk, but I can't. Wait, I have an idea. Uh, a little, like a little, uh, like that, and then we go like a little, a little that, and then yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. Okay, dude. Um, we need to go like this, and then uh, we need to save XP. Let's go top path here. Abyss Dweller. Let's get Abyss Dweller action going, you know? Um, you think the Mirror Monkey's good for bosses, bro? Honestly, probably not. If I had to guess, but we'll see. Abyss Dweller. The Abyssal creature awakens, angrily lashing out at balloons with powerful tentacles and granting nearby monkeys a small pierce increase. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna grab Arctic Knight, and then we can grab... Yeah, there. Try this to pop Leblins and grow in power faster. Ice Jet ability launches a barrage of bouncing ice balls, following target priority or targeted point. 
uh, a targeted point. Holy, wait a second. So, if I target, like, um, so let me, let me target, like, here for some reason, and it's just, oh my god. You think it shreds, bro? I have no idea. So, let's put it, like, well, balloons are gonna come from here next round, so we should go like that, and then we'll, we'll just wait for the next round. Well, and then boom. Uh, well, it doesn't last for as long as I thought it would, but okay. Uh, we, I'm gonna grab another Riptide Champion, bro. I I don't know. We need a bottom path. Why didn't I grab a bottom path? Let's see. Entrances non mobile class balloons with a hypnotic tune magically detonating all damage over time effects and disrupting balloon movement. This sounds like a like a crazy support tower, no? I feel like it's a crazy support tower. What what does this first upgrade do? Acclimation to local Oh, it just makes the attack faster. Exactly what I thought. Okay, and then we're we can grab Abyssal Warrior now. Post Trident's a thick ink that uh, slows balloons. Abyssal creature grows in power. Destroying most balloons with ease and enhancing nearby monkeys with more peers. Okay. And then Lord of the Abyss. Okay. And now we should get the fourth tier at the bottom. Um, Symphony is re resonant. Hypnotic Tune can affect low tier Moab class balloons. And Strip Camo can be set to echo from a nearby point. Okay. So we have like more target settings in this one. Pretty cool. Also, did you see what we just did? To oh my god. It's like we're spraying ink on them. Like, holy. Okay, so now, my Symphonic Resonance, um, Hypnotic, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, we already talked about this, so, we can put this, like, in the middle, I suppose, and it will just slow stuff, I think, and strip camo, I think, oh my god, they're spinning, what the, okay, wait, wait, something cool about the Mirror Monkey, uh, middle path ability is that, when, here, here, I'll pop it next round, it can actually go over terrain, like this, see? I pop it, and it, it's actually going over the terrain, even though, wait, why can it, no, 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 it can't go over this terrain, yeah, yeah, exactly, so, the ability is just, like, it goes over, I think that's a little, little cool, like, little thing, you know, okay, it's round 40 of Blunaris, I know, this is random, because I have gotten every little upgrade we need. So Lord of Abyss pops in, got them all unlocked. And now we're here to test out on the boss. Of course, that's the best way to test it. Um, the fully unleashed Wrath of the Abyssal Creature helps to power the depths of now most balloons and grants enhancing pierce to nearby monkeys. Yes. Um, I, like, let's try, like, fourth tiers, right? Like, we'll try, like, Arctic Knight. We'll try, like, two Arctic Knights, and then we have the Abyssal Warrior, like, giving them a buff. Um, and then let me get the full stack on range. So, boom. There we go. So then we can run like that. Um, let's go ahead, pop ability. It did a thousand damage. Okay. That's pretty good. Um... We haven't even really attacked yet. Oh, it's these guys in the front. Yo, bro, just... Uh, just ignore them. They're not even there. Dude. Just... Just like, ignore that. Um, we're not doing that much damage. I don't think these guys have much, like, Moab popping power. Um... I guess I'll grab, like, uh... Oh. There we go. Is it one three one like like this um like what if we grab this would you do anything against blue Nares? no no I, i'm gonna go ahead and sell for the lord of the abyss wait let's read what he does real quick the fully unleashed wrath of the abyssal creature wait did i already read this yeah i did what am i doing boom let's grab it um go crazy boy uh okay he's doing he's doing decent work the, the thing is, uh, is that these towers are pretty cheap, like, um, like 25k, 52k, 29k, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Um, I'm not really sure what's happening right now, I just know we're not doing a, a lot of damage, but we're doing enough damage. Um, I definitely don't think they're gonna be like a boss monkey, that's for sure. Uh... Hard to say. Maybe they release another boss that's specifically good for Murmaki, but I honestly, it doesn't look like that. Um, 
that it's like that good into bosses. I mean, Lord of this. This is this was a fifth tier, bro. I mean, okay. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Who really cares? I I do think that the uh, bottom half of um, the mer monkey is. I think, uh, let's see. This elder can echo its irresistible tune anywhere while devastating uh, the balloons. The call inspires the nearby heroes to improve range and cooldowns. Like I said, the mirror monkey is just very like supportive. It's not like a uh, main DPS. It has some damage, but it's not like crazy damage. And once again, it's not like uh, Moab damage. So it's a lot of supporting abilities, like um, extra, um, like increased magic monkey pierce at tier five. I mean, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that, but you know, one day. One day, guys. Um, yeah, yeah. I do want to get Pop Sidon. See what that guy's about. Pop Sidon's Ice Jet ability draws such power that a rogue wave floods the map with super cooked water, freezing all abilities and reclaiming the weed for the sea. Yeah, I gotta see this. So we have Pop Sidon now. Once again, the DPS isn't crazy, but maybe we'll pop the ability here. And once again, they're they they're very good at handling like uh, groups of Moabs and like. I think they are. I'm not too sure. I think they can. I think that's what they're good at. They're like they're, they're able to handle Moabs very like easily. I think. And yeah, but against bosses, it looks pretty rough. We're struggling, and it's uh tier uh tier two, normal. I mean, there we go. Now we got that dude. Maybe we go crazy. No, no, we're not going crazy at all. Just not. There's just like no Moab damage here. You know. But that's okay. You know, it is what it is. And I think we'll just leave it there. Because we've seen all the fifth tiers now. But, like, we also know that it's not very good into bosses now. Which I think was pretty obvious. But I just wanted to show it anyways. Um, so, I think I'll go from here and show off what they could do in, like, a normal game. So, we'll go out... You know, throw three of these guys in and see if they can handle like round 100, round 90s, you know. Also, in case you guys didn't notice, the uh, Lord of the Abyss actually has really small range. Even with a times 5 uh, you know, the bottom half buff and having a village too, this is his range. Um, yeah, so very small range. Um, let's go ahead and play round 98. Round 98 is a pretty hard round with the DDTs and things. Is that... The DDT rush, or is this like groups of ZMGs and BFBs? Actually, this is good to see what I was talking about earlier. Dealing with oh my god, look at them go! Like the bottom path, Murmonkey just sucks everything up, and you can get so much damage off of it. And then they're just really good at handling, like you know. Um, okay, let's go around 100, and um, boom, like uh, you know, like this guy. Can we speed this up? Let's use Persuasion ability. Oh, I don't even do anything. Um. Okay. But once again, we know it doesn't have much, like, Moab damage. But I do want to see if all the 5th tiers can take out a bat. Um. And I think... I think maybe? Yeah. I think it can. It looks pretty good. Um. Maybe 2-5 pop size is better, but... You know, I think we got it. Maybe. There we go. But yeah, very good at handling swarms. Um, once again, it does lack like pure Moab power, uh, Moab popping power. So against bats, you're probably gonna need something else. But like, let's say it's around 100. Um, sending a bunch of ZMGs. You know, your DDTs, your BFB is like, look, they'll shred. Most of them are ZMGs. Boom, some more DDTs. You know, like, look at all this stuff going on. And they're just crushing it. Um, that's good. That's good. They're very good at dealing with groups. Um, but I think that's pretty much all they're good for. Uh, at least popping wise. They're a very supportive group of towers, so. We'll leave it at that. Uh, Red Monkey seems pretty cool. Not too bad. Pretty, I like the design though. Like, look at the, look, look at the fifth tiers. I, I like the design. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that sub, hit that like. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.